Hey guys, welcome to the Sim Racing Paddock. I'm William Marsh, and this is going to be an interesting video. This is me doing a test drive of Gran Turismo Sport on the PlayStation 4, but I'm not using a PS4 wheel. I am, this is a device I was just sent about a week ago called the Drive Hub. And let me see if I can show it in the frame. I uh, hold on. So, sorry guys. So this is a unique device. If you look here, it's this box. And I have my Fnatic Club Sport Wheel version 2.5 plugged in with the pedals. Also a Thrustmaster TH8RS shifter. Normally, that should not work on a PlayStation 4. However, if you look, it's working. This is unusual, guys, but unusual in a great way. So, I got sent this. I want to test it out, but man, I'm early impressions. I'm impressed by this because you can actually play Gran Turismo on a PlayStation 4 with a club sport wheel. You're not supposed to be able to do that. So I'm just going to do a few quick laps first to start things off. And I'll show you how this is working. So I, I've been talking with a few people who make hardware. And they're saying that it's easier to manufacture hardware for a PlayStation than an Xbox. Because apparently the PlayStation works on HID drivers. I don't know what that stands for, but I guess it's a good thing. So this box can merge controllers together. So you can see I'm using a TH8RS back here, but it's working. Uh, so the device name, it is uh, from a studio called Creative Labs and it's called the Drive Hub. Uh, I'll put a link in the description real quick. But I'm actually shocked at how well this works. So hold on a second. Uh, I don't even know the website. They just contacted me and sent it to me. Uh, or no, it's Creative Mind. It's not Creative Lab. Uh, so hold on one second. I will... Uh, I'll give you guys a link. So the box, it's, it's a little steep for what it is. It's $90. But if you consider, if you already have an Xbox wheel, such as the Club Sport wheel, $90 is arguably negligible for having the ability to actually uh, have a box that can allow you to play your Xbox high-end wheel on a PlayStation. So I'll also put a link in the description. Uh, so... Uh, it's also under the name Cronus Max. So I'll put it there, uh, the link in the description. There we go. So yeah, it's interesting because it's not only I'm using the place or the Fnatic Club Sport wheel, I'm using the Xbox hub. So you can see it's working, it's controlling, and also it uses force feedback. So let's get this started. And note, I'm using incompatible shifters. Wait a second. Did I set it? Did I set it to auto or manual? I thought I set it to manual. Hold on. Slide it up there. <laughs> How cruddy is GT Sport? I'll talk about it in a minute. Hold on a second. I think I mistook a setting or something. Or maybe something got dislodged. But I was just testing it earlier and it was working just fine. So hold on a second. Yep. Let's change the manual. Let's turn down traction control. Start. Okay. So. Let's see. Ooh. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little too hard on the throttle there. But you can see, force feedback, it's working on this. Ow. Okay, that's unusual. Now my shifter's not working. Hold on one second. Why is that not working? Let me take a look at this. There we go. Shifter's working. Okay. There we go. We got that fixed. Wait. Missed shift. There we go. I hate in Gran Turismo how easy it is to miss shifts. But you can see TH8A or TH8A or TH8RS shifter is working with a Fnatic wheel on a console. Whoa. I mean. <laughs> You really... This isn't supposed to work like this. But it's working. Feels good. Although, in my opinion, the driving model in Gran Turismo is the worst of all the realistic driving games. But, yeah. It's actually working. And working well, if I say so myself. Let's slow down. Is there that penalty? You see, it's registering every shift. I think what happened was I dislodged the shifter cable when I tried pulling it up to show you guys. But this is pretty remarkable, guys. No latency. That's another big thing. No input lag. It might show a little bit on what's going on uh, on the screen because the, my Elgato game capture automatically puts about a 650 millisecond delay. I tried making sure I compensate for that, but there might be a tiny, tiny bit off. I'm not certain, but it's way, way too easy to spin with low traction control. That's why I'm finding with Gran Turismo and that's why I said in my comparison video, you almost need to drive with an assist. It's almost undrivable without assists. Turds are great as long as you sprinkle glitter on them. I wouldn't go all the way to say Gran Turismo is a turd. I've had some great races in GT Sport online. And I'm going to talk about that in my review. It's just the driving model feels like it's stagnated. Uh, where there hasn't really been much in the way of improvements. But this, this wheel, I, I'd almost go out and say it feels better than the clubs or CSL Elite PS4 wheel. And yeah, I'm going to go out and say that. This feels great, force feedback wise. That's considering we have a box to go through. I don't feel any latency through the wheel or the pedals. Feels good rumble. So yeah, I'm excited about this button box. Or not button box, but excited about this box. It works well. And as mentioned, there's a link in the chat, or you can check the link in the description. GT6 finished me with Gran Turismo. It took them six months to fix a tire bug. That's frustrating. Uh, honestly, I didn't play Gran Turismo 6. By that time, I was pretty much done with the PS3 era, so I'd moved on to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So I don't think I even had a PS3 at the time GT6 came out. Actually, no, I sold the consoles, but then I went to next generation. 
So regardless, I didn't have a PS3 to play GT6. Hey, Graham, how's it going? But yeah, if you baby it, you can drop on it. Turbo Power, I'm doing pretty well testing out a new product. Uh, it's uh, You can see the link in the description. It's called the Cronus Max Drive Hub. And it allows you to play PlayStation 4 and Xbox games with controllers that weren't meant to. So, it's very interesting because right now I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 with the Fnatic Club Sport Wheel version 2.5, which has no PlayStation 4 compatibility. And this is working great. And also the strangest thing of all is I'm using the TH8 RS shifter with a Fnatic wheel on a PlayStation. You're not supposed to be able to do that. And this is doing it with flying colors, all things considered. Actually, I should check something real quick. Is it handbrake? No handbrake, okay. What do I think of Thrust Master Chief 300? Great mid-range wheel. A great mid-range, I won't say like lower end, but mid wheel. Uh, one of the best ways to get into a lower end belt drive, definitely. The only concern I would have with the T300 is the T3PA aren't exactly the best pedals. But the T300, actually it also might have a little bit of issues in the way of reliability, I've heard. I don't own a T300 myself, so I can't vouch for that or against that, uh, but I've driven a little with the T300 and it felt good. Especially for the price point. Because you can get the wheel with a rim and pedal set on sale for around the $300 mark, which is pretty respectable. But I'd recommend upgrading to the T3PA at least. Hey, Andy Crud, how's it going? Yeah, this feels good. really just have to baby the cars in Gran Turismo, I think. You steer too much, and you are going to be facing the wrong way. Uh, Graham Healy, I would say Gran Turismo Sport is better for the racing than the driving model, which usually is par for the course. AI and single player still definitely feels like Gran Turismo, but scaled back. The true star of the show is online because you have the online ecosystem now, you have the rating system, you have a sportsmanship rating, a safety rating, but you just have all of that available. And yeah, I'd say people who are looking to get GT Sport, make sure you invest in PlayStation Plus. This game is meant to be driven online. It's not meant to be driven offline. It's meant to be driven online against people. So, speaking of online, let's go online. I want to see how this wheel stacks up against driving with other people. So, let's see. Let's go to sport mode. Man, I haven't done online in a while. But yeah, this is working seamlessly. That's what's blowing my mind right now. So we could either make Nurburgring or Interlagos. Let's do Nurburgring. Subaru WRX? Okay. Okay. Blue Pearl, of course. Go with the blue with the Subaru. The Blue Baru. We don't have time to qualify, so we're going to be starting from the back, which will be interesting. So I want to share a little bit about how this box works. Uh, one thing that you will need is at least one DualShock 4 controller. So hold on a second. Taking you a bit for a ride. So if you see in this box, 
I have four cords. One cord plugs into the PlayStation. The second cord, the white one, I have plugged into a DualShock 4 controller. The third one is my Fnatic wheel. Fourth one is the Thrustmaster shifter. And you need the shifter, or not the shifter, you need the controller. It's being basically used as a donor controller. And that means you can have that like uh, emulated of sorts. And force feedback feels great through the controller. Uh, let me check the strength I have right now. Yeah, it might be a little weaker, but it's marginally. Uh, Sensor Gaming, I believe it does work with the G920. But yeah, but uh, one thing to mention is if you want to navigate with the controller, say do painting, you're going to need a second one. I mean, the second controller, you're going to need a second wireless. So keep that in mind. That donor controller, all the functions are going to be through the wheel only. You can't use that controller to navigate. You'd need a second controller to navigate. So keep that in mind. But it it's working, guys. It works. I'm I expected something weird emulation-wise. I exper I was expecting some sort of lag, latency. I'm not feeling it. That's kind of shocking. T150 wheel, TH8A shifter, and T3PA Pro. Yeah, uh, T150 is a PlayStation. Uh, Sinister Gaming. I don't know about mouse and keyboard support. If you look in the description, uh, I have the link. It's called the Cronus Max Drive Hub. Want to see some drifting, Will? Eh, not really keen on drifting during a race, but maybe later. But yeah, I'm kind of blown away with how this is working. By the way, quick question. How is the audio? How is it synced with my face and my mouth? Because I had to manually sync it in OBS and everything. So hopefully it's working okay for you guys. Uh, hopefully there isn't much latency or anything like that. That's just one of the things that's inherent with the nature of streaming from a console through a capture card. It kind of can add a little bit of latency that you have to compensate for through the software. Okay, guys, thank you very much for that. And wow, even though I didn't qualify, I'm still starting sixth? Okay. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Should be an interesting race. Let's get our warm-up in. Hey, El Bucho, how's it going? Okay, ghosting in the pits. All right, all right. You can see this is working fine. Maybe I'll smoke him. Flying Dutchman. Someone just hit the wall behind me. God, take it easy. Because I've never driven the Subaru in Gran Turismo yet. Never driven even the Nurburgring yet in Gran Turismo. Because they blocked the Nurburgring you know, until you hit like level 20 or something. I'd love to do some laps at the Nord Slide for you, but I can't yet. The Horrification. I believe AI still takes over. There aren't manual pit stops. Hello, Timothy. How's it going? Whoa, whoa. 
Looks like we are closing in on people, so I think we're gonna be... We should be fast. Hopefully fast. But you can see, no latency. This is pretty remarkable. Hey, Riley, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, testing out a new product I was sent to review. It's allowing me to use a club sport wheel on the PlayStation. So it's pretty awesome so far. Feels great. No, 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 no music. It's gonna hit, get hit with a copyright claim. I hate the copyright claims I get hit with on Gran Turismo stuff. It sucks. But you can't mute that music before the race, I don't think. I know, six feet. Let's see how this goes. What the heck happened with sixth place there? guy ghosted I don't know if he had his wheel turned to the right I mean left or something wow. oh he's barely alive hey Felix how's it going they added a broadcast option to stop copyright claims. Oh. Hey, Harry, you can call me Will. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. So, Riley, uh, in Gran Turismo, one of the things that's frustrating is the clutch is still seen as like a button. They've been doing that ever since Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Oh, in real life, okay. I've, I haven't driven a WRX in real life yet. Yep, El Bucho. Uh, I'm testing out a new product that allows me to use the 2.5 on the PS4. Woo! And it feels good. I'm gonna steer a little too hot there. So we're two seconds ahead of seventh and two seconds behind of fifth. Yep, the Cronus Max uh, Drive Hub, that is currently what I'm testing. I know, right, Sky Wilk? <laughs> Hello, Zednix. Oh, shoot, I just realized I forgot to change the name in Twitch. I'm sorry, guys. Unfortunately, Emery, I can't really speak for that. I don't have a PS4 Pro. I would love to get one because I have a 4K HDR TV in my living room, but... Eh, funds. Right? Missed a shift. Way too easy to miss shifts in GT Sport, or Gran Turismo in general. Felix, don't shave, it's no shave November. No. 
another mischief. You have to be incredibly deliberate with your shifting and your clutch in GT. More so than any other title. It's all right, Felix. Okay, let's get focused, guys. Let's get focused. Because seventh is closing. ATM Gaming, if you have your setup ready, you can join in. I'm just live streaming right now. Dang it! Freaking miss shift, man. How long I'm streaming for today? I'm not sure yet. I am not in an open lobby, I'm just doing the sport mode. We gotta run. Yep, six speed. I know that. That's why I'm doing that, to try to get some good races in. side. Well, that stinks about it being on back order. No! Holy miss shifts, Batman. Harry, I might do some later on. And Tom, thank you very much. Dang, 6 out of 11. Those mischiefs murdered me. I hate the way the clutch is simulated in Gran Turismo. It's painful. So, TM Gaming, uh, I'm just in sport mode, so I, I'm not fully sure, to be honest. Maybe you join in and it tries getting paired with us. I want to see if there's a way if I can turn off the clutch and I'll just try using it and it's like if I miss one maybe it won't just automatically miss everything. Level 12, okay. Because it seems like servers aren't too busy right now. Let me check something real quick in settings, though. 
have to be the same rank. Daily workout complete. Received a car. Come on, Z4! 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 Yes! Woo! For the record, guys, this is one of my favorite race cars. If you guys know, this is one of my favorite race cars of all time. <laughs> you can use Shifter without the clutch. Oh, that Bugatti. Let me check something. Options. Is it under controllers? Uh, let's just see. Let's use sport mode race. Irising race the Z4 in Daytona 24 hour. Awesome time. It's a blast to drive that car. So, let's see. What can we race? Today's events. So, the events aren't until 6 o'clock, it sounds like. Okay. But yeah, there are different FIA championships. No, Tom, I did not ask that. So let's see. We could do Interlagos. That's GT3 racing, okay. Why not try that? Because now I have the BMW. And then it automatically adjusts the BOP. Hey, Dan, how's it going, man? The shooting brake version of Z4. So let's do some qualifying. So I'm currently in the Inner Lagos race. Hey, Sim Enthusiast, how's it going? Hopefully this car sounds okay. I know Grand Turismo is not known for good sounds. GT Sport's a little better, but man, the real life version of the Z4 sounds incredible. This what to see. Well, that's the real life sound bite of the car, but let's see. Not horrible sound, but not great sound. The cars in New Forza sound good. They're okay. They're better than GT, basically worse than everything else though. So fun fact, in iRacing, back when I worked at Inside Sim Racing, uh, we took part in one of the first online test events for the 24 hours races. So we did a 24 hour race at Interlogos to test out the servers, and we raced with the Z4. It was so much fun. This sounds pretty close to the iRacing version though, I think. Such a fun race though. Game sound might be too loud. Okay, let me adjust that real quick. Hold on one second. Sacrificing my qualifying lap for you guys. Whoop, whoop. TM Gaming, it's the Group 3 Racing at Interlagos. Lara Croft Leon. It's like an OSW now, not Fnatic Direct Drive. Okay. Yeah, this does have way more transmission wine. That's one of the things. Whoa! Holy ice grass, Batman. That was... I just put two tires off and it sent me for a ride. Okay. Let's get a good lap in now. Little early apex there.
Is that next? OSW is an open sim wheel. It's the direct drive racing wheel. Uh, little wide, dang it. Wow, uh, Tom, thank you for that donation. Thank you for a donation, Tom. Anyone going to be checking out Need for Speed Payback? Uh, I might take a look at it. That's a 139. If I hit this corner, okay, I'm going to gain some more time. That was not a good corner there. Penalty? Time it okay. There we go. Hey, Blood Wolf, how's it going? Unless, I would go out and say, wait for a sale. Buy, but wait for a sale. 137, okay. What's my favorite class to race? I would say maybe lower open wheel or maybe uh, GT4. Those are a lot of fun. about seven minutes. I believe there is field of view adjustments. I'm not a hundred percent certain though, I think so. TM Gaming, my username, uh, you can look it up in the description of the video. Look in the description of the stream. Because I have all of my usernames on the description.
Yep, Tom, I am using a 2.5 on a PS4. Uh, that's one of the big things. I am currently testing out a product called the Cronus Max Drive Hub. And it allows you to use a wheel that is not meant for PS4 on the PS4 or Xbox One, uh, vice versa. Uh, also, I'm using a Thrustmaster shifter with this. So yeah, it's sort of blasphemous in sim racing, using two different manufacturers on a console, but I am enjoying it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, TM, I got your friend request. Little preoccupied at the moment. Hey, Tuomos, how's it going? Um, El Bucho, this is, uh... Or what do you mean, nothing for handling, just UI and force feedback? I don't know what you mean by that. Chat comments have made me crash before, I'll be honest. Bloodwolf, I prefer R Factor 2 myself, but content wise, it is kind of limited. That's the only downside. Uh, Race Room has a lot of good content. Also, the sound. So, try Race Room. Just try it for free first. And then, if you like it, you can invest more into it. On the throttle but we're doing okay we'll have i think one more lap after this Cedric, uh, what do I think of GT Sport? Driving model's not the best, but racing is some of the best I've had on PlayStation 4.
Well, technically, the McLaren rig is a Vissaro rig, but it's McLaren branded. Just saying. <laughs> but yeah, it is insanely priced. Looks like we're going to get down to the 135s. What do I think about PSVR racing? I haven't really done much in the way of PSVR racing, but I actually I got to play a demo of uh, Ace Combat 7 on PSVR. That was fun. The only thing that's frustrating for me is that the PSVR for GT Sport, it's only one mode. It's just one mode that you can drop. Wish there was more. And hey, Bartman, I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? So let's see who I get matched with. But, oh, man. Gotta admit, that looks beautiful. That looks great. I'm just saying. That looks good. Uh, Blood Wolf Race Room has incredible GT3 content. They have, I think, the largest GT3 roster. Actually, they might be second only to Assetto Corsa now, but they do have incredible GT3 content. Sensor Gaming, I'm not sure if you can use PSVR in multiplayer. I don't think so. It's just like this one-on-one -on -one mode that you can race against someone. Wow, I qualified second. But, oh my god. 132? 132 lap. That's just nuts. How the heck did I get a 122? Jeez. Guy must be going nuts. He has nuts. super in the game i do not know i think there is i can't promise that though Tom, you have a good one. The backfires in this car sound amazing, though. Because you... This... Grand Turismo Sport has more of an atmosphere to their sounds than any other previous GT game, I think. You can actually hear the backfires. You can... Uh, sort of even hear like the traction control binding up a bit. Whoa. Uh, Luminous Girl, that's a little bit of TMI. We didn't really need to know about that. Am I competing in the FIA Championship? I'll look into it. I haven't competed in any races yet, though, unfortunately. Vapors, I just got your friend request. Thank you. Doesn't Race Room already have triple native support? Yes and no. It has supports for triple screens. Yes, it's not true triple screen. That's coming soon. Okay, let's see. Wololo 10. Dan, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, admittedly. <laughs> so we're starting second. Is 
the Porsche just that much faster? Why every car has the same transmission line? Both new digitals lazy? I did not go all the way left there. I should have. That would have given me a more room. There, six B just got your friend request. Worst place to get hit with a slowdown penalty. Worst place. But I hit that grass and it made me cut the corner. I know. I I'm gonna have to now make it pass for second. Wow. Okay, that guy in the Audi was trying to murder someone, I guess. That's one of the things that I have mixed feelings about, the ghosting system. Because the ghosting system, it works great getting rid of rammers like that guy. But some people would say it's not as realistic. Okay, here's my move for second. There we go. Took second pretty well there. enough wild turkey I didn't really know that I just I thought you had to serve penalties before the end of the lap like a set of four seven oh that cone rest in peace cone Man, he's in a different time zone right now Wow, I just got rammed. Seriously? Okay, then. Well, it didn't dock my safety rating. That's good. Docked the other guys, most likely, but he didn't dock mine. So, as mentioned before, GT does a decent job of signing fault, all things considered. So let's build up a gap now. I'm still pretty blown away with how well this hub is working. No latency, no lag between my inputs.
Uh, Stiggy, that's because of... It's essentially the nature of the Elgato game capture. The capture card I use, uh, it does cause issues uh, with latency. So, I don't feel any latency whatsoever. But this is a great option if you just, or if you're that kind of person, like most people who just, who just want one wheel to use on multiple platforms. How's it going? So, Matt, I'm currently using uh, the Club Sport Wheel version 2.5, it's the Universal Hub. Uh, match with this, but yeah, it's the uh, Cronus Max Drive Hub that allows me to use a wheel that isn't meant for the PlayStation 4, and I can use it just fine on the PS4. What do I think about LP1 and LP2? I preferred those in the early to early mid 2000s when it was like the LMP 900. I was never really a big fan of the hybrid uh, LMPs. Yeah, wow, Turkey. That's the thing that I find a little unusual. He's like three or four seconds faster. But yeah, Matt, I I'm enjoying this hub. It works well. But also, I think LMP, they can't hold up a candle to Group C. Thank you, uh, the guys abroad, for subscribing. I just realized, since I'm not wearing headphones, I, or I can also, I don't have the audio for my computer going, I can't see when people are subscribing, so I apologize if I'm missing you guys. Well, Evernos, that's the only Porsche in this field, if I remember correctly, and these are meant to be set for balance of power, so in theory, we're pulling off roughly 136 to 135s on a good lap. Most of us are. He pulled off a 132, so he's almost four seconds faster. So either he's just on his A game driving 110%, 100% of the time, or the Porsche is just naturally inclined to be faster or something. Yeah, Stiggy, uh, the only thing is, I don't own the RSR yet. And in this class, you have to own the car to drive it. This is the only GT3 car I own right now. Possible to watch the replay after this? I think so. A little wide. How's the force feedback stand up against R Factor 2? Uh, not that good. Force feedback, not really communicating too much. It's passable. I'd say that. 
I'd say I'd give it like a C grade in terms of force feedback. And as you guys know, I'm not a fan of the physics in this. But this car's surprisingly okay with the physics. I'll say that. You just have to really baby the cars. You can't really be too aggressive or else you might just get sent crazy spinning. For example, I can't touch that grass or else it's going to send me spinning. Do I know if the hub will allow the vibration features of the club core pedals to work on the PS4? Um, hold on, I'll check real quick. Did not feel any vibration, so I'm not sure. I don't think so, uh, unfortunately. But honestly, with this race, it seems like the people behind me, they're also good. So I'll be happy with a second place finish. I'm happy with a second in this. like we got a spammer here. Whew. That was a good race though. Wow, he got hit with a three second penalty, so... He must be a little liberal with the uh, barriers. That would be my guess. But man. Good racing though. Alright, Blood Wolf, you have a good one. All Fnatic pedals work on PS4 with a Fnatic wheelbase or the Basher board module. Hmm. Time driven level one complete. Okay. Just on new achievement. Fifty thousand credits. Okay, that's pretty nice. So our driver rating is still D. So we had to work our way up. Hey Rachid, how's it going, man? Will I do an open lobby? I have no clue how to make one, but I'll take a look. Lobby. Let's see what we can do. Create new room. Race for real. Let's see. Oh, we can do Nurburgring. Okay. Do all of you have a mirror in GT Sport? I'm not sure. So we'll do a two-lap race around the Norch life, guys. That's a good challenge. Sinister, the CSL Elite is a very solid wheel. Yes, it is. I'd say that's like my second favorite. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just not at the level of... Real slipstream. Tire wear. I'll put BOP on, don't worry. Category. Let's put group three. Balancer performance on. You can do cards at the Nord Slide, okay. Ghosting during race, let's do weak. Shortcut penalty. Weak. So many settings. BOP is balance of power. It allows you to be able to essentially, uh, what is it? It allows you to like make the cars similar, at least. Do I need to make a name for it? Oh, we totally forgot the name. So yeah, as mentioned, you can use a second controller. So, uh... There we go. Fixed. Oh, I wish Project Cars 2 had this. I wish Project Cars 2 had this. Fixed room ownership. So if I got booted or something. Save settings. New. There we go. So we can save settings. That's nice. And auto drive prohibited. For traction control, I'm leaving those on because, yeah, those can be issues. So I'm going to accept these friend requests real quick. Accept. Okay, server's open, guys, so yeah. Should be fun. Select car. Enter course. What's the ID? Sim Racing Paddock, TM Gaming. Ooh, that looks beautiful, guys. I hate those first couple corners. This is my first time driving the Nordschleife in Project, or not Project, in Gran Turismo Sport. People are in. Yeah, force feedback feels surprisingly good considering this is running through a box. Belkun, I think it's to each their own. I tend to prefer the lighting in Gran Turismo Sport myself. Oh, Dan, okay. <laughs>
so let's see how the Nord's life goes. I'll likely not be talking too much. Gran Turismo version of the Nordschleife used to be known for just being way too wide. Oh, this, this feels downright skinny in comparison. That would be freaky. Really no elevation changes. Yeah. I want I wonder if it's also because it's a wider field of view too. I wonder if that also plays a factor. race guys <laughs> so much fun though driving this car at the north slide I'm currently driving the BMW Z4 GT3 car. BMW Z4 GT3.
That sunset is brutal. <laughs> that grass, you hit it and you're done for. Saw that flagman there. That was nice. Let's get a hot lap in. Almost. Almost done the lap. There we go. I'm gonna relax my arm for a minute. Quick with the flag, too, yep. Let's start the race. Whee! Okay, guys, we gotta make sure we don't get hit with the copyright. Yada yada yada. Boo ba da ba da ba da ba 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 do ba da ba da 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 I might get hit with the copyright claim because I didn't realize there was a broadcast mode, but okay. Sunglasses, please. Yes, please, and thank you. For the record, this oscillation also happens in uh, normal PS4 mode with the wheel. It's not because of the box. It was because of the PS4 mode. Okay, so what are the odds that I'm going to get rammed in the first corner? Well, I overshot the corner, so... Gonna be a challenge, guys. Gonna be a challenge. Oh, man, that looks good. Those cars look good. Oops, someone got bumped and run. That glare, though. We gotta run. Can't get rammed in first turn if you don't turn, yep. Two laps around the north slide. Gonna be intense, guys. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I gave you room, but you just want the rim, okay. Yo, flag. Guard the wall, okay. Yes, Lino, this is a 2.5 base. I'm running with the Chronos Max uh, Drive Hub, and that is allowing me to be able to actually use it on PS4. Whoa. Well, 
I know. Uh, look in the description. I have uh, the name of the hub that allows you to use it. I'm also using a Thrustmaster shifter, just not with this car, because this is sequential gears. No, unfortunately, I don't think it works that way, Sim Enthusiast. Come on. Get rid of that penalty. gone. That's good. Physics of the game, I'm not a big fan of. They're okay. Yay, yay, yay. But, yeah, it definitely feels like Grand Turismo. I'll put it that way. Fourth place in the wall. So here's where we try to close in. Project Cars 2, in my opinion, is better. Uh, Assetto Corsa, in some ways, Assetto Corsa is better than Project Cars 2. In some ways, Project Cars 2 is better than Assetto Corsa, in my opinion. Thank you, Costas, for subscribing. Thank you. Blinkers. <laughs> Forgot you can turn on blinkers. Kind of messed up. Okay, that was that was net code. I did not mean to hit him, it was just a weird netcode thing. Let's try to get a clean lap and a half in. Should do night version, yeah. Days young, we'll do some more races after this. Uh, 
I turned it down to light mechanical damage. So it's light mechanical damage. I, but yeah, I'm not seeing any on my car, which is frustrating. Because light damage makes you think there's some. So I'm nine seconds behind fourth. It's at ten. Can you wash the car? I don't think so. It's a shame they got rid of that. <laughs> or change the oil. Sunglasses on. Sorry to hear that, man, about the back order thing. Uh, yeah, I'm. I don't know. Uh, GT Sport looks incredible. Yes, it does, definitely. Still 11 seconds back of four. understeer I overcooked it butcher that corner okay one of the top four just quit driver's girl hands hmm I've really been paying attention to hands. I've been paying attention to the road. See if we can close in on the second lap to the third. We might be in the running for a podium if we pull off a really nice lap. A great day racing team? Yes, I do. If you go to www.simracingpaddock.com, I have a Fnatic banner. Uh, there's a banner with the Fnatic logo and stuff. If you click that, uh, that's an affiliate link, and I do get a uh, commission based off sales for that. Yeah, to almost, this is a lot of fun, because once you get in the groove, you forget about the Freddy physics. Say, you forget about uh, 
a lot of negatives. And you're just driving, man. Pushing hard. And you're having fun. And you have good races in GT Sport. I've been learning that, which is nice. Oh, those guys are on softs. <laughs> that explains it. What track next? Um, I'm thinking maybe Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch could be a lot of fun. Oh, someone else quit. Okay. So we are in third. But Wolf spun. Okay. Maybe he's torching his tires or something. He might be close enough to get his draft in the straight. DTM? I'm not sure, Joe, unfortunately. I'm not sure. Someone on Ultrasoft? damage now. Maybe he took a hard hit. Yeah, it's almost... I think that's one of the great things, that developers are really starting to understand the value of online. And organized online, because... When it's unorganized online, it can be chaos. But this, at least there's competent drivers, and they try to inform, to an extent, what proper driving etiquette is, which that's worth its weight in gold. Rest in peace, Cone. Worst place to go wide for me. Dang it! <laughs> Six feet. Let's hope he flubs up the final few corners. 
Because with the way he's driving, he could. got third out of four. Everyone else quit. Oh, it's so for GT season two. I don't really know what that is, to be honest. That was intense. Hey, Kirk, I've been pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, the Grand Tour. Yeah, I am excited for that. TM Gaming, this is fun. Now we have to wait to, for the timeout on this. Check something. Wow, it's already 1.30. I did not realize that. No more American for season two. Yeah, Mike Skinner, he's a good race car driver, but it, it felt way too gimmicky. Lock tire compound possible? I'll take a look. Mini fridge? I wish. That's a good idea. I might be able to fit one there, though. 42,000 credits. Okay, not too shabby. So let's set up a longer race now. Wait, do I have to create a new, or wait, no, triangle, switch information, no. Um, race settings, change event settings, there we go. Nurburgring, no. Bathurst. Ten. Yeah, the American, he was cringe, big time. Big time cringe. Hold on. Let's go group four. They don't allow you to do qualifying? Thank you. 
Night racing at Bathurst, guys. Should be exciting. The Dillette's, the dead celebrity thing. Oh, I need to change my car. Wait, really? You have to own the car. Select car. I don't have any GT4 car. That sucks. I don't even know what I have. There should be an option where you can just pick anything. Because, yeah, I can only do BMW, I guess. Group 4 Bothurst. Ooh, this looks dark. Just about 500,000? I don't have 500,000 yet, I don't think. Whoa! Hey, Doc, how's it going? Hard tires, yes. Limited to hard tires. I think I have this race and maybe one more in me, guys, because I need to have lunch. I need to get lunch after this. All right, Rachi, do you have the... I hope you feel better. I overshoot the corner. Whoopsies. Yeah, Dennis, that's one of the things I'm excited about. Uh, this uh, drive hub works great. I mean, I can even use a Thrustmaster shifter with the thrust or through the Fanatic. Yellow flag. That's nice that they have flaggers on the track. And it's green. Okay. Green flag. Nice thought. It's nice that they have accurate signs. I think they're at least accurate as of a year ago or so. I don't know how they are now, but yeah. 
<laughs> Two almost. Yeah, this looks pretty solid. I wish that Grand Turismo Sport had uh, real-time progression and stuff, or dynamic time of day. This is more, you pick a few options out of a hat. But yeah, this looks nice. Fastest lap, that's likely not gonna stick, but. <laughs> I've heard that uh, Gran Turismo Sport, most of the DLC is going to be free at least, which is going to be nice. Uh, because one of my complaints is very limited in terms of content and especially in tracks. They need more tracks for GT Sport. Rain coming to teased it yesterday. Okay, that's nice. That was close to hitting the wall. Oh, oh, that got scary. Alright, almost. you have a good night, man. Oh, I have damage. You can see the damage. If you look on the bottom left, you can see damage. damage that killed me let's start the race 10 laps with mechanical damage at the Nords God help us Our bottom right did I did I say bottom right I meant bottom left my bad ooh poor vet Need Lamont before June 2018. That would that would be great. Good luck, everybody. Wow, you can see how the headlights are illuminating the interior of the car right now. This is scary, guys. Slight tap. We're okay, though. <laughs> oh, that helicopter. That sounded awesome. Cool. Oh. Driving under that helicopter here in the sound. Side by side down to the mountain. Oh, oh, oh.
Corvette might have damage now. That looked like a hard impact. Claustrophobic, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Side by side. They need mirrors and all views. Yeah, that would be nice. Wow, he ran so freaking wide. Okay. That just gave me the lead. And wow. Okay, Wolf. That's the second time you've ran me off the road. I don't know really what I did to you. Overshot, dang it. And I have some damage now. And it's not helping my cost much. The way mechanical damage is simulated in this feels actually really good. race I don't think is available on every track unfortunately well that sucked thank goodness this isn't a ranked race or else I'd be in trouble oh wait mechanical damage goes away after a little while I just realized that so that's what light means What's with the crutch telling you what gear to use? It's meant to help drivers like uh, learn about the gears and everything. I don't use it. I have not done any of the FIA races yet, unfortunately. Uh, I'm looking to. I want to. I'm not able to do it tonight, though, unfortunately. Whoops. Oh, that was a hard hit. This race has gone to the hot place in the hand basket. On missing that freaking corner.
Uh, Harmar, I hit 10,000, I believe it was Saturday. I believe it was Saturday when I hit 10k. We gotta run. He has more torque, though. I just, I couldn't make it stick. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Let's make this corner for once. There we go. Yeah, Harmar, thanks, man. Woo! Here we go. Actually made a move. someone good and then I mess it up. <laughs> Sorry, my life. Woo. He must have gone a slow down or something. Yeah, this is a little much in the uh, in the way of the uh, understeer. It just feels way too much. Peter, congratulations. Hope you're enjoying it. Whoa! I just got forced off the road by TM. Come on, man. Sorry about that, TM. I'm relatively familiar with Bothurst. This is my first dri time driving it in Gran Turismo, though. Especially with this car, which has so much understeer for some reason. Ah! I don't think he hit me. I think that was the curb. That was the curb. That wasn't an impact, I don't think. Whoa! Wow, this car's messed up. This is just the most understeer in any racing title I've felt, I think. Yes, I have tried without the aids, but the, without the aids, it feels way uh, too easy to spin. Way too easy. Stiff suspension and anti-rubble bar. But yeah. 
I've driven this car in every other sim racing title that has it. This is easily the most understeery. Easily. Every other title, it feels livelier. This just not as much. Let's try to build up a gap now. We're 25 seconds behind Wolf. We have about five laps to go. I'll have to try tweaking with the setup later on. Slight love tap there. So, Himari, uh, one of the main reasons I feel that Project Cars 2 is a better title for getting started in sim racing is there is more variety. There's more variety in content that's available. If you consider Gran Turismo, mainly has road cars and GT cars. Uh, maybe some prototypes. Whoa! But Project Cars, it has open wheel cars, it has karting, it has rally cross. Actually, uh, GT Sport has some rally, but it's not really organized. Uh, Project Cars 2 has a better damage model. It has the ability to stall the car. It has uh, better racing rules. It has a better career mode. It has, uh, let's see. It has all of that. I will say that Project Cars 2 is buggier. I did not touch him. He just hit the wall on his own. He outbroke his own. He outbroke himself. Sim Racing Girl is kind of confusing to me because sometimes she's dropped in on our live streams. She has the event through, uh, through the uh, uh, Sim Racing system on a set of Corsa, but it seems like she doesn't do any Sim stuff for fun. It always seems like she's trying to promote something. So. It always seems like she's promoting something. She's promoting like some product that she's been sent. Her Instagram is always, oh, thanks Thrustmaster for sending me this wheel. Thanks Bizarro for sending me this 30 grand cockpit. So it's kind of confusing. I'll put it that way. I mean, I respect her driving ability. She is a good driver. But it seems like she's just doing more promotional stuff than real, like, fun sim racing.
Corvette just has so much straight line torque. I want to see about getting the TGT. I just did my review on the TSXW. Uh, some people say that some of the complaints I had with the TSXW are addressed in the TGT. So I'll see if I can get one. I'll, I'll contact the guy from Fanat, I mean Thrustmaster. So I'll see if I can get one. I, I'm not sure though. Distractions. <laughs> Man, those flaggers are on point. Start rolling, it's already green flag. I hate that bottom corner. In every other sim, I can nail that corner. But in Gran Turismo? It's like, what the? Talking to Drogos? Yes. I do feel that way. Well, one thing I find interesting is it's like her fourth video, uh, Sim Racing Girl. Her fourth video is, check out this bizarro cockpit I got sent. And it's like, a bizarro cockpit, those start at around, I think, 10 grand or something like that. So it's like, oh, I just sent a cockpit. And then, there are a couple things I find a little suspicious. Whoa! Way, way, way too easy on the brakes! TM! You were like a good 500 feet from your braking zone! I'm sorry about hitting you, but wow! Okay, so continuing that train of thought, uh, Sim Racing Girl, some of the reviews are interesting because she did a review on the CSL Elite Formula Rim like two years after the Carbon Rim came out. I just find that interesting because, the, like, for example, Vissaro, Vissaro only holds the Formula Rim. They don't hold the Formula Carbon, at least at the time of that review. So... I know there were some people rumoring that maybe her boyfriend works at Vissaro or something. Maybe her boyfriend is a Vissaro sport, or spokesperson and got her into sim racing. Maybe it was something like that. I don't know for certain, but I definitely know that uh, she's good at marketing. I'll put it that way. Wow, he's wide. He totally cut that corner. I think that's going to give me third place. I totally overshot. Made that pass, though. Uh, I, Take Drogas, I am currently driving the Fnatic... Uh, Club Sport Wheel version 2.5 and if you think that's weird it is weird because this Fnatic wheel is not meant to drive on a PlayStation but I got sent an adapter that allows me to use it 
If I sign a contract with the manufacturer under Brand Central, you get a Group 3 and Group 4 from them for free. Okay. Yeah, TM Gaming, I'm sorry about that contact. Uh, because you hit your breaking point a good 100 feet or so from the breaking point. It was like, wait, what? Uh, Troll Turismo, I am using the Drive Hub. But yeah, El Bucho, what I find interesting is, yeah, we do have a lot of similar reviews. It was interesting, though, because there are some that I do notice discrepancies between us in reviews. For example, there was the review of the CSL Elite. I found it interesting how Sean had no cons whatsoever, where realistically, I think there were some cons. I found it interesting. And then I think Sean, he didn't really have any cons on the uh, TXSW Racer. And I was like, what? There are cons. So I just found that interesting. My philosophy behind reviews is if somebody, based off things that I say, buys a product, spends a few hundred dollars on a product, and buys something, what is... Like, what are they going to say if something I said was inaccurate? That's my mindset. Taki Drogos, differences between 2.5 and CSL Elite. Uh, the CSL Elite are really smooth. Uh, really, really smooth. Hold on. I keep on wanting to use the keyboard to navigate, but it's like, and I have to use this. So let me check something real quick. So you're saying if I go to Brand Central and maybe sign a contract, I'm gonna do more races, TM. I'm just out for a minute. So let's see. I'll go Audi, I think, because I like their a uh, driver contract. Okay. TT Cup and Audi R8. So I could do that. Actually, no, I'm going to go with Porsche because Porsche new to Gran Turismo. So let's go Porsche. CSL Elite is great value, especially considering there's a bundle that has a CSL Elite and the three pedal set for uh, $500. That's great. Oh, yeah, I'm going with that borrow for the duration of the season. Okay. That works. Contracts can't be changed during the season. Okay. That's fine. Oh, that's cool. They have their own font they develop for this, for the contract. Okay. I've been getting friends requests. I have friends guys. I have friends. Come on, Gamer Muscle. Accept a friend request. Come on, man. Ooh. Pretty. Gotta love how weird those people look. With the contract, you can also race in the GT Championship. Okay. So guys, I have one more race in me. One more race, guys. Uh, then I need to get lunch. I haven't had lunch yet. Pustle. Let's see. It depends. Are you willing to make that investment for the direct drive? Are you? Uh, so I can go back in here, I think. Where's my...
So track. It was Bothurst. Okay, I'm going to create a new room, guys. Creating a new room. Load settings. There we go. We can just load that. Work off of this. Max 16. That's okay. And let's go Suzuka. Suzuka GT4, guys. That should be fun. DualShock 4 battery low. Group 4. We'll do eight laps. 1630 cloudy. So Troll Turismo, you need the software that powers it. You need the software uh, that, uh, or it's like a software and box. So essentially it's like a computer that, uh, or how to put it, a computer to feel everything. So GT Sport, is it any close of of course on Project Cars too? I'd say it feels slightly closer to Assetto Corsa. Project Cars 2, in some points, it feels almost too grippy. But generally, this works well. Let me invite some people. I need to charge this later. Friends. No invite, okay. Is there a way to invite? Guess not. So let's just enter the course. So wow, yeah, so it turns down your power. So this really gets scaled down for BOP. Let's see how this goes though. I like the sound of this car. The car sounds good. Transmission wind still a little high, but gone mid, this sounds good for a Porsche. Turismo without traction control sucks. I'll try it without it, but options. Yeah, that's not let me change it. So, driving options. I tend to find that uh, traction control sucks. Uh, Jamie, uh, Gran Turismo is only for PlayStation. See how this is. With the way this is set up, uh, you can't change it on the fly. That's one of the frustrating things. D-pad buttons doesn't work, troll. 
Uh, on unsupported wheels, Gran Turismo has issues with the on-the-fly settings. That's one of the things I have a gripe with. No, Jamie, I have all three, or I have the PlayStation, I have Xbox, I have PC. Heck, I have Nintendo Switch. <laughs> You have to be really ginger with the throttle here. N64, that uh, my roommate has it. Sometimes we till or still play Super Smash Bros. on it, and it's a lot of fun playing with friends, trash talking, good times. Whoa, whoa! The Gibber, I just got your friend request. Commodore 64, I sold one. Uh, about two years ago, I think, for like 150 bucks. I don't have an FEI setting, and I just downloaded the latest driver. Yeah, uh, Peter, I got your request. Thank you. Little preoccupied at the moment. Yeah, Taki, I'm saying there is no FEI on this. I think that's only on the CSL Elite PS4, not on the CSW driver. The 2.5 does rattle. Yes, it does. Yes, Orange, I am using a club fort wheel on a PS4. I am, uh, I got sent a device. It's the Cronus Max, or yeah, Cronus Max Drive Hub. And it allows me to use a CSW on a PS4, which is awesome. Feels great. No latency. Awesome. This is literally my first day driving with the hub, too. It's, yeah. Group 4, yeah, they are a lot more forgiving, I can tell. an intense delivery. J 
GT Sport, the driving model is not my favorite by a long shot, but the racing, I've had some really good races in GT Sport. And that's one thing I really enjoy. Yes, I was planning a review. I was wanting to get it out last week, or I think it's Saturday, but I ended up getting sick and I was out of commission for like four days. I'm finally getting over it. So I want to get my review done soon. So later on, I'm going to get uh, footage. So I think after I get lunch, I'll get footage for my review, uh, finish up writing it, and I'll, I want to get it maybe out by Saturday. Whoa! Yeah, I saw that uh, Best Buy had the G29 on sale for $199. Uh, Wishbone, are you talking about racing in general, or are you talking also about, uh, are you talking about racing in general, or uh, just PS4 exclusives? Taki Drogos, I do feel that Fnatic is in a slight tier above Thrustmaster. I mean, they do compete. The shifters, I think, are what they are closest to in uh, comparison. They are slightly different tech, but I enjoy Thrustmaster TH8 RS shifter. I enjoy it. I also enjoy the Fnatic Club Sport shifter. And I'm having issues with my close port shifter, so I need to contact Fnatic about it. Yay! But, yeah. I tend to prefer the feel of Fnatic more. That's just me. Yeah, I missed just that corner. Traction control fail. Let's start the race. Uh, Orzel, have you uh, have you used your a uh, screwdriver to tighten it up? Because you can use a screwdriver to tighten up the shifter. The club sword shifter is very nice and convenient. Yes, definitely. I haven't played Nio. Persona 5 isn't an exclusive. A good wheel for max 500 euros. That would likely be... The Fnatic CSL Elite with the three pedal set. I haven't seen that for around, I think, 500. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right next to you, bro. 
Just got rammed. Speed boost! Free boost! Yeah, I think there's a bundle right now. It's the CSL Elite Base with the CSL Elite uh, P1 rim. And also, it's the three pedal CSL Elite with the load cell. I think it's uh, 500, maybe 599. So, Take Drogos. Uh, for me, I've had great customer support with Fnatic. Uh, I live in the same state as their service station, so it's usually very quick. tricky because I'd say if you get a good cockpit it'll last you through multiple wheels getting in a good seating position is worth its weight in gold but make sure you also have at least this decent beginner wheel So this is my last race of the day, guys. Last race of the day. And then I need lunch. Whoa. Oh, that, that painted area is painful. Just got past. That's a good point, Joe. I made my first cockpit for about $150 out of wood. It flexed like heck. It wasn't well built because I was young, but it got the job done for a few years. Double A tip, okay. Talk to you, I'm here to help. I'm part of the community just like you, and I just, like, I want to be able to use my role in the community to help others. And if you ever have any more questions, you can email me at william at simracingpaddock.com. Uh... Double A tiff or A tiff. Uh, so, as mentioned in the stream, I was sent a button or a USB hub that allows me to use the Club Sport wheel with the PlayStation 4. It's a $90 USB button box. Whoa! But it allows me to use a Club Sport chip or use the Club Sport wheel, and also it allows me to use the TH8 RS. And Jordan Taylor, thank you for subscribing. I'm not sure if you're the Jordan Taylor, but if you are, that is freaking awesome. Yeah, so this adapter, it's $90, but if you think about it, if you spend over a grand on a Club Sport wheel, paying $90 to get it to work on an X or a PlayStation, that's nice.
I have not tested the handbrake yet, unfortunately. Uh, because GT Sport, only some cars, I think, have the handbrake. This one doesn't have a handbrake in it, I don't think. So, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, take a look at GIMX or GIMPS. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Orzel? Or, yeah. Orzel Simulchi. I apologize for mispronouncing your name and getting distracted and spinning. But thank you for that donation. What about T300 RS GT? That's a decent wheel. That's decent for a uh, solid low mid range budget. What you need to take into consideration though is it's relatively limited in the ecosystem. You don't have the load cell. Uh, there's rumors that there's gonna be a load cell coming, but it's $100. I think the Fanatic pedals are better build quality. I think the Fanatic wheel is smoother. Orzel, okay. <laughs> Fifth place left, so now I'm in last again. <laughs> T300 has cooling fan issues. I haven't owned a T300 myself, so I can't really speak to that. Definitely gonna get a big lunch after this race. <laughs> but gotta admit, this looks pretty good, guys. Uh, I know some people are saying the colors pop out too much. I think it looks good, the, the color balance. Maybe even a little muted. Adam and Eve, I am considering going back for some uh, film school and uh, doing things like that, but not at the moment. Uh, Lava Leap, I do have my review of Forza 7 on the channel if you want to check it out for yourself. Just saying, I have already reviewed Forza 7 and in my opinion, I think it has some of the worst force feedback. Some of the worst. Uh, it's just not very communicative, which is frustrating. Whoa! Kind of surprised I caught that slide. Okay. We're closing in on AJ. PS4 currently, and with the current setup, you might need a wheel stand. <laughs> Just got a funny flashback to when I first got into sim racing, I literally bought an $8 tray table from Target and used that as my wheel stand. You might be a 5 PC and place it on your desk, then buy a wheel. One bad VR for you. You have a good one. We're closing in on third.
little over through there, but we caught it okay. I think so, ATF. Uh, David, yes, I am using. Uh, it's the Cronus Max Drive Hub. The only th one thing I'm slightly frustrated about is apparently it doesn't support the TSXW I have. So I wish it did. That would have been nice. Maybe they'll add it through a firmware update. I'll try talking to them about that. But yeah. It would have been nice to be able to use those Sparko wheels on the PS4. Right through that uh, TSXW. Because my T500 is getting a little long in the tooth. Forza 7, Force Feedback needs. Now we're playing with the system settings bar to learn to understand. You give it an 8.5 out of 10. Huh. Interesting. Let's see if we can close in on AJ. Whoa, a little over the edge there. He's wide. There's the spot. We're 21 seconds behind six speed. And we're wide over the cone too. That guy kind of stopped. Me. He's gonna close in now. So any recommendations on what I should get for lunch? Uh, any guys want to shoot out their comments about what they think? Why is the sim racing community so small on YouTube? Because we're a niche of a niche, or a niche of a niche of a niche. Because consider, we're not just the video game subgenre, we're the racing video game subgenre. We're the authentic racing video game genre, or sim racing. So we're a very, very small genre as a whole. Chick-fil-A, that might be a good idea. Oh, Marinara, no, no, no. Blech. Not a big fan of their meat doll. Some racers mostly on Twitch. Well, we have Jimmy Broadbent, we have Gamer Muscle, we have Sim Pit, we have ISR, we have Sim Racing Girls. She doesn't really do anything live. Daniel, just get into Sim Racing, make friends, then you become part of the community. If you want, you can also join Sim Racing Paddock Forums, and link is in the description. So we have a lap and a half to close in on AJ. AJC. And he's wide.
lot of the top GT sports drivers stream too. Okay. So we just need to take it easy this next lap and a half and we should have a podium. That asked and he had a bit of a wiggle behind us. Sacrifice and go. Little wide. Thoughts on the Xbox One S? It's a weird dilemma. It feels like the stopgap between generations. It's my thought on what the Xbox One should have been. Uh, maybe if we had stretched out the PS3, Xbox 360 generation a little longer, waited until these new consoles with 4K launched, then I think that could have been good. Because if you think about it, the PS3, Xbox, and uh, thank you. They ushered in the jar or the era of like 480p, and even the PlayStation was able to support some uh, 1080i titles. Then the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 ushered in the era of HD. I think this generation should have started off ushering the generation of 4K. But they took their time, and yeah, I think the Xbox One S, or X, is promising. It looks like very powerful hardware. It looks like it will do stuff to be a very solid 4K title, or 4K console. But how is it going to fragment the software and everything? That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, ADIF... I drive a 2013 Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark VI. Or technically, they don't have it under the brand model of Golf, just GTI. But yeah, it's a Golf GTI. I always think those paddle shifters I'm using is too far away compared to the wheel. These work great with gloves. And congratulations, TM Gaming. I just had a tough race with this. Let's just be conservative. Looks like he almost tried to wreck me there. All right, guys. Oh, that was a fun race, even though only finished third out of eight. Could have been worse. Could have been worse, guys. But yeah, oh, I'm getting hungry. Almost a little shaky, I'm hungry. But yeah, guys, uh, I am going to be looking into maybe doing a stream late tonight. Not sure. I'm not a big fan of the tire model in GT Sport. I'm not. It just feels steps behind everything else. But yeah. Uh, did okay, guys. We did okay. But I'm going to try doing a stream maybe late night. So stay tuned for that. But we'll see how this goes. So... Guys, thank you very much for taking part. And for the Sim Racing Paddock, I'm William Marsh, and I'll see you in the next stream.